This is kind of an optional piece. A lot of people never change their brake fluid. I think it's a good idea to do it, especially in a climate where you have a lot of moisture. Brake fluid is a hygroscopic solution, so it, it likes to eat moisture. And the wetter it is, the more moisture it introduces to all the metal components in your brakes, so it can rust your brakes from the inside out. Um, I'm using DOT4 brake fluid. This is BMW stuff because I'm a BMW mechanic. Um, you can use anything really. DO2, DOT3, average brake car. Uh, DOT4, good stuff too. You can't use DOT5 because it's a silicon based brake fluid. It'll ruin all of your seals. You can use DOT5.1, but I don't recommend it just because of how short its lifespan is. <laughs> There's the brake fluid reservoir cap. Remove the cap, and then we're using a motive power bleeder, which is this assembly here. This is a BMW Volkswagen nozzle, but it works on Fiat as well. Lightly screw that on, and then pump your unit up to about 15 psi. You have pressure in your bottle, you have enough brake fluid in your bottle, find something to catch your excess brake fluid. And then we're actually going to start with the caliper furthest away from the reservoir, which is going to be the passenger rear caliper. On the caliper itself, there is a little rubber nipple cover that you're going to have to remove. This is on the bleed screw. So there's the rubber nipple. Carefully take that off, then grab anything really it has to be 11 millimeters what we're going to do is gently crack the bleeder open until you start seeing fluid come out this fluid actually still looks pretty good given its age but we're going to let it drain until we find enough fluid in this cup or we think that there's reasonably most of the fluid in the reservoir has been evacuated and has been replaced with new fluid so this is going to take the longest. All subsequent calipers will be shorter because we're only bleeding the distance between the center of the car and the caliper. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and close it up now. Just snug it down. That does not have to be tight. It just has to be enough to close down the flow. Put the nipple on. We're going to do the other side in the rear and then we're going to do both front calipers the same way. I would say only drain the remaining three calipers for, let's say, 15 to 20 seconds just to get the remaining fluid out of the lines. Once you've done that, we'll go back up and I'll show you how to disconnect the brake booster. So to disconnect it, just open the cap on your bleeder first to vent the pressure. And then slowly remove the cap on your reservoir. Oops. Of course, don't forget to put the cap back on so you don't lose brake fluid. Only thing left to do Put the wheels back on it, torque them down to 79 foot-pounds, and uh, lower it down. <laughs>